Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. operates over 70 different programs. One of the programs under the auspices of EAC is our Child Advocacy Center. We are so excited and so honored that our guest speaker today is Katie Beers. Katie had been abducted as a child when she was 10 years old and as a result of Katie's case the grand jury conducted an investigation and they recommended that we establish a child advocacy center in Suffolk County and because of Katie we were able to open up the child advocacy center almost 17 years ago so we are so honored and so grateful that Katie is here with us today. We're located in Central Islip and we work collaboratively with the multidisciplinary strike force team. We conduct joint investigations, medical exams, interviews, and all the services are conducted in a real collaborative fashion so the children don't have to be re-victimized over and over again by retelling this story. We get all the grown-ups to come to one centralized, child-friendly, and child-focused location. My name is Lance Alton, I'm the president of the AAC. And I want to thank everybody for being here today. We actually are going through a uh, change of name. It's going to be EAC, but it's going to be EAC Network because the services that we provide are so wide and varied that we felt that network is a better way of describing that which we do. The important thing to recognize is that there is never one issue that an individual struggles with. It may be substance abuse, but there may be also other issues related to child abuse, could be child neglect, any one of a number of different things. And what we try to do is bring to the table all of the services that EAC provides and others. We, we will make ref, uh, referrals to, to other outside agencies in addition to our own programs. Look at him go. He's happy. All right, I need one of the... All set? Uh, We've been um, strong supporters of EAC for 10 or 11 years now, and the lunch has been a signature event that we like to sponsor. They do such great work for the kids at the CAC, and the money goes to such a great place. And um, today was even more special with Katie Beers coming here to tell her story. We try to make sure that the money we give um, to the community stays on Long Island and is used for the benefit or the betterment of Long Island. And EAC is one of those stars um, in the crowd of not-for-profits that really truly every dollar you give them supports the causes that that you're supporting. And for us it's been children. It was such a warm and welcoming atmosphere being um, at the center, something that I could not have ever imagined. I got to tour the center. It is a beautiful facility. The workers there seem to genuinely care about kids. I got to spend a little bit of time one-on-one -on -one with some of them. The work that EAC is doing with getting kids out of the situations to interview them definitely helps out. And I think that if EAC was around when I was being interviewed by the social workers, I probably would have spoken up a little bit quicker because I was being interviewed in the bedroom on the bed where the exact abuse was occurring. So I was scared to death. Seeing the work that they are doing and the work that they intend to do really warms my heart, knowing that out of my horrible situation, this center came about.